break and oh god need to turn my speakers on all right welcome back it's garbage day hour nine i'm boots Rakier. i'm hosting this hour and we're going to be talking about something very near and dear to my heart that's a lie I hope that you are feeling fine because we're now in hour nine. It's time for channeling some spirits. Rhymezone.com suggests clitoris. Spirits and clitoris do not rhyme. This verse is a legit song crime. Fortunately, it ends now. Wait, yeah. Yay! Wow. Right. Yeah. Shit, boots. Garbage day. Cha cha cha. <laughs> oh, we oh, clapped you were too done. soon. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, the encore worked out perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're back. Oh, my speakers are still on. Fuck that. <laughs> we're back to Channel Some Spirits. We've got Bunny Bread finally joining us. Damn right. Hell yeah. Uh, we've got Stug back in here. Hell yeah. We've got Isfahan back in here. Hell yeah. Oh, oh and, my God. What's uh, going on? And we got the intern still hanging out. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> We can all just apologize forever. And got Dijon de Jure with some wonderful art for us. Oh, yeah. Dijon rolls. Yeah. It's a, are you actually wearing that uh, that paper bag the whole time, uh, intern? Uh, this uh, paper bag? Yeah, that one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, one. That one. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I sometimes take it off and I crumple <laughs> it up a little bit and then I put it back on. <laughs> Oh, for ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> ASMR, it, yeah. Back to, back to hour one is now. Back? Is it back? Is it back? Yeah. No, it's, that's okay. it, that's just the picture that, that uh, the Dijon de Jure drew, drew of you. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Well, oh, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> yeah, that's that's her. Yeah, that's Margaret Thatcher. One Thatcher. British lady. Th- yeah. There's one yep. person in Britain who oh, sorry, wears not a Dijon. crown. It's Margaret Thatcher. She, that's also John Major. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're summoning her out of a out of a giant butt yeah and so we're uh, we're channeling some spirits we got a document from shell game here and uh Hell yeah hey stog do you want to start us off give us the five uh steps to channel spirit i'll uh give you the document because i haven't done that yet oh yeah usually when i channel spirits i brew some coffee i add a shot of bourbon and oh, nice. then i have like a donut to go with it but in this case we are going to go over the five steps to channeling spirits as in ghosts not as in all, not as in liquor channeling is a natural way to be in alignment with our soul's purpose on earth it is how we can connect and get to know spirit spirit is spirit is a word encompassing all spiritual assistance we have and the spirit realm, realm in general spirit includes god source jesus <laughs> Buddha, spirit guides, deceased loved ones, friends and family spirits, and soulmates. Through channeling, channeling, we form a close relationship with spirit. We get to know and love them as friends and family without bodies. Spirit is with us and helps us daily. They understand our purpose better than we do because they have all the knowledge about anything they need to know. They're also very wise. They can give us advice and open our life up to opportunities that we would never consider on our our own. Humanity's main spiritual goal must be to deepen its relationship with spirit. Then by thinking of spirit as our non-physical family and friends, just as we have a physical family and friends, we can take the feeling of support with spirit deeper than our own physical friends and family. Why are you all staring at me like I'm a nuts? (laughs) We're not staring. We're looking at our own feet. We're trying to shuffle out of here. Oh, uh, let me, let me, let me get you. Let me, while you're yeah, all doing that, door. let me just Good. say, uh, when we channel spirit, our mind moves out of the way and we uh, watch it all take place with little interaction. We may butt in and make a comment, ask a question, or we may even get clear enough to have a dialogue with the channel spirit. It may take time to get comfortable with it. Yay! <laughs> Yay, Hanson! We've summoned the Hanson spirit. Yeah. You can go around two of those. <laughs> See? This is what happens when you channel spirit. Open up to the infinite possibilities that spirit has for you. Have fun. Every time you channel, it heals you. Oh, good. Oh, good. Cool. Uh, wanna, uh, here, let's, uh, yeah, let, let's move on to, hey, intern. 
Mm -hmm. Tell us about automatic writing. Here, let me just take the paper bag off. <laughs> automatic writing. The best way to start using. Mm. Yeah, form. you're sorry, you're <laughs> cutting in the we're, get, we're getting about half of that. Sorry. Put the bag back on. <laughs> uh, the echo help. All right. How about now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Automatic writing. <laughs> automatic writing is the best way to open and start using your intuition and form a relationship spirit but uh, we can also call it inspired <laughs> writing automatic writing is the process of inviting spirit capital s into your living creative spirit to guide you I, through channel right sorry to say it's not working <laughs> it's oh no it, you're, it you're saying things are feels, interrupting shit it feels like i'm like nodding off while you're talking because <laughs> it's just like i hear like every other word well uh, deal with it. I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's on us. That's our shitty ears. Yeah, that's. <laughs> uh, sorry, intern. All right. Uh, how about how about this? Silence. It's working. <laughs> oh shit! Really? Yeah. Uh, wait. When? You, so you didn't hear me then, or you did? We didn't. No, we didn't. Yeah. No. You said how about this, and then Bunny Bread said something. Right. No, I didn't. Yeah, she does a really good impression of me. It was amazing. I said nothing. Can you hear me right now? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does it sound okay? It does. Yes. It does right now. Great. Uh, if I keep talking, talking, talking. Oh, yeah, it's working now. Cutting in and out. Right, no, it's, talk, talk, no, it's good. It's, it's good now. It's just when you're talking about automatic writing. That yeah. <laughs> you're <laughs> doing automatic Your talking mic right now. It's a fucking document. <laughs> okay. Uh, shall we cancel the whole affair or <laughs> no, it's, it's working. <laughs> Go. Sounds like it's working. Yeah, let's quit this 24 Go. hours. Go now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's get I mean, some like, sleep. I could get some like late brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this, this is, this is some hour 16 conversation we're having here. We're only at hour nine. <laughs> Automatic writing. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yes. You're really good yeah, right now. Said those Great. words. Yeah. Automatic writing is the best way to open and start using your intuition and form a relationship with spirit. You can call, you can also call it inspired writing. Automatic writing is the process of inviting spirit into your living creative space to guide you through channeled writing, where you channel the inspiration of a spirit through writing. Ooh. Always she... have an intention before you begin, a question or intention you want insight into. When you start to receive a vision or thought, just let it pour out of you by writing what comes to you on a piece of paper. Unblock your mind and let the words flow freely. Step out of the way of spirit so you can fully receive. And then, and why, don't, why don't you continue and tell us about the five steps to channel spirit? Great. Ooh. Five steps to channel spirit. Step one, clear. Breathe in and feel yourself connect to your center, the spirit within you. Breathe out and expand yourself to create more room for the connection to your spirit. Surrender everything mentally, thoughts, emotionally, feelings, and physically relax the body. That is not serving your highest purpose in this moment. Continue surrendering and breathing this way through the remainder of the exercise. Step two, invoke. Ask spirit in whatever spirit form is special to you to come into your space to guide and heal you. Step three, ask. Write your intention or question down on a pad of paper or journal as you verbalize it out loud. Step four, receive. If you were to imagine the answering wafting into your mind, what is it? <laughs> what is the yes. answer? Yeah. What is it? <clears throat> It might seem like your own thinking, and that is okay. Just go with it and write it down as it comes into your mind. Many times the channeled information begins with a work or phrase, and as you begin writing, it unfolds into more detailed answers to your questions. You're essentially having a written and verbal dialogue with spirit. It may what? be a few... <laughs> What if Unabomber plus donuts? What the fuck is this? <laughs> That's what I got too, Stog. You're not the only one. Uh, what? <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. Well, if Unabomber someone were to think this, donuts. they would probably. What if Unabomber plus donuts? This is a mathematical theorem. 
<laughs> you really threw intern into the deep end. Yeah. <laughs> the world, <which> is <laughs> right. yeah. Just, and then you let so many, speak. <laughs> there are just so many windows that I'm like, wait, is that the artwork? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might be. Um, John Dujour can really draw fast. Like, it's amazing. Let's see. Uh, step five, apply. Once you receive your information, the pieces that you resonate with act on them. The more you practice, the clearer and easier it will feel. The journey to knowing spirit involves patience. Great. Uh, hey, uh, uh, Isfahan. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about, uh, I'll let you choose, either tell us the benefits or the pitfalls of, okay. uh, well, of channeling spirits. I, I'm sure the benefits will speak for themselves, but I feel it's only fair you all know the pitfalls. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the, it's not all kittens and rainbows with this whole channeling spirits thing. There's also... All right, one of them. You will have no privacy. None. None? None. Hmm. You're going to be opening yourself up to some pretty fantastic experiences. Some of them you might not be able to understand or even control. You might feel out of control and frightened for a period of time. And let me ask you this. Are you superstitious? Well, no. no. Why? I'm because here. Because if you are, right away I can tell you that you'll probably have some major difficulties to overcome. Okay. Like being superstitious. Yeah, yeah. Are you that's very one. set in your beliefs? Uh, yes. Do you believe there is evil afoot and good aplenty for those who work hard and deserve it? Because I'm if an you American. Do, because if you do, you're also in for a rocky road. Shit. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the ice cream either. Shit, shit. <laughs> you're going to be faced with a great deal of emotional and psychological growth. I period. hate growth. No way around this. Be prepared. How? Just be willing to take yourself off to a therapist if need be. This stuff is really potent. <laughs> I'm just going to knock you on your ass. Yeah, Are you already so under a psychiatrist's care? Then don't do this. Turn away and pay somebody $50 for a reading. Do not follow this road. Your family might get really concerned about what you're doing. It might take years for them to accept what you've done. <laughs> and once you make a connection to spirit in this manner, there is no turning back. There is no turning it off. It is a commitment for the rest of your life. It is not the job of folk and spirit to answer all of your questions, to keep you safe from harm or illness or make you wealthy. If you're looking for the fast track to an easy life, this isn't it. Sure. Well, you have to make the app first before you get that easy life. Right. Yeah. Goes without saying. Yeah. Flappy spirit's going to be a hit real soon. Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're gonna check in with Frank West okay. here. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi, Frank, Hi West. Frank West. So, uh, so you had a you had an idea that you might be near the end. Uh, I thought I might be, but then I um I came out here. Hold on, let me kill this man so I don't die. Um, I came out to see this wonderful vista in front of me, and I was like, oh, never mind. There's like a whole bunch of buildings and shit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> This is Mass Effect colon Red Lake. I think that, like, I know this is either the last level or very nearly because they told me so. But, <laughs> and I think that once I get to that thing in the distance, I'll be done with this level. Mm. Frank, but I don't I think hear. I like this preview build of Warframe 2 at all. I think they should just quit while they're ahead. I made that joke three hours ago, Stog. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to three hours ago, oh, Stog. Oh, Welcome to hour six. <laughs> yeah, Frank West video game playing jokes, greatest hits. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's a winner. I mean, to be fair, I think I've exhausted every bit of humor this game has. So uh, <laughs> there's not much left to talk about. Well, it, like you're on these tall bridges and there's some like, there's some trees. So that's sort of different. And hey, your robot funny. still has a great ass. Col colors are still the same. But he has less yeah. of an ass. You'll notice I'm thicker now because oh. I got a suit upgrade. Oh, yeah, this, uh, you know, the ass only gets worse as the game goes on. That's a real problem. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's like Spec Ops the line, but with ass. <laughs> All right, back in the video game hole with you. Hi, Frank. Okay, uh, so now uh, back to channeling spirits. Uh, mm. My name's Windance, and I've got a question to ask. Hey! Yeah. When does soul enter body? Hi, Hello. friends. I've been wondering at what point does the soul enter the physical body after conception? <laughs> also, what is your view on abortion and the soul of the child? Thank I'm you for it. Thank you, dear friends. Love wind. And in parentheses, <laughs> not a Catholic. <laughs> 
Um, and uh, Bunny Bread, your amethyst. Hey, wind dance. It's amethyst, your boy here. Yeah, how you doing? So, anyways, it's my belief, and only my belief, that the soul can enter at any time, right? Some come in early, some will wait a while, you know, it's been all loosey goosey. Some change their mind in midstream, thus miscarriages. Uh, they, yeah, I know. Hey, it's science dropping it. They, oh, God. No, 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 it's, okay. <laughs> it's part of life, man. It's the circle of bullshit. They enter when they are ready. And I don't think there is any predetermined gotta enter here now kind of thing, right? As far as abortion, I firmly feel that they are lessons, just like anything to the person having one. However, an abortion is just like any other thing that has ever happened to you. <laughs> Great. However, a soul knows when it is entering before it ever enters. Right? Okay. As everything is prearranged or predetermined. So, you're not taking a soul out of its existence. No, no, no. Not without its consent, so to say. Just my thoughts. I'm sure you'll get many replies. Much love and light. Amethyst out. Also, I close my eyes to nothing. Yet I question everything. Namaste. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in turn, can mm-hmm. you take a Carolyn's? Mm-hmm. Last time on Carolyn Z. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> so much power. Wind. The soul can enter at any time. Some souls choose to enter a baby that is going to be miscarried in order to bond or unite with the mother, like a familiar soul from the past, or to experience the nurturing, so the returning so soon. Let's see. Going on my four kids, my first chose to enter when I was five months pregnant. A sparrow flew into my mother's house where I was cooking lunch and landed on her kitchen counter. When I was six months pregnant with my second child, a finch flew into the factory where I worked and landed on my work desk. When I was five months pregnant with my third child, a bird flew into a streak-free glass door trying to get into the house and knocked itself at cold. I took this as a bad sign, burst into tears, and started shaking. My husband had to calm me down. My son had already lost his twin by this point. I think he got a soul when he was three days old, because until then, just the white pulsating light was there, and he was very sensitive. Then on the third day, he was better and had his pretty blue aura. My fourth child, I was very sensitive. Then on the third day, he was better and had this. Oh, I reread the same sentence, but does it matter? <laughs> we didn't notice either. Yeah. <laughs> you could have got away with it. Seventh child. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Hummingbird in our backyard. The bird came to drink from the feeder and lingered around looking at me. <gasps> oh, my, oh my God. Dr- I know, it was scary as shit. My Indian grandmother had always told me that a bird would deliver the soul of a new baby. So whenever I'm in a store and bird goes flapping by, I smile and say to my kids, oh, look, someone is going to have a baby. Just my opinions, love, Carolyn. I didn't answer your question at all, but I talked about myself a lot. Do stores have windows where you're from? I mean, does this happen a lot? Whenever you're in a store and a bird goes flapping by. Next time on Carolyn Z, Carolyn Z gets in trouble with her landlord after she after she's caught smoking weed in her apartment. I was gonna say, whatever you're taking, I hope you stopped while you were pregnant. <laughs> Turns out she was never pregnant. Okay, so uh, going through the dog. Those are my to... thought babies, and then my sixth baby, which I imagine <laughs> in a oh my God. day in, a, in an LSD hallucination. <laughs> That came to me when I was in school. It was like place. I was the bird that time. Yeah. <laughs> and then I flew the next away. Time I, I was flew, the window. I flew into hell, which is kind of a window. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a window in the ground. <laughs> okay, this looks. I've this... just been reading this the whole time. No one's even noticed. <laughs> There's been three more pages. I've read through them. You guys. Oh well, <laughs> it's just we all just just got caught in the spirit realm and missed it. Um. 
I gotta admit, this document is very hard to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for you, yeah, you um, muggle, yeah. So I don't, I don't quite know where posts start and end. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna go down to page. They, uh, uh, they, they, um, they start and end. The they're demarcated by the horizontal rule. Well, that's just yes. Those are, but those are reply. Yeah. So anyway. <clears throat> What I'm gonna. The fuck is this? I'm on. <laughs> yeah. Carol, Carolyn Z just keeps going. She goes. Wind. The pair spirit is the astral connection to the physical body. You can compare oh it to the white rind of an orange oh. that is in between the orange skin and the fruit itself. That is what keeps the body alive when the soul is OBE or astral traveling while sleeping or while the child is. Carolyn first Z, we're gonna put you in this other room right now. It's a <laughs> nice room, and it's it's just this calm shade of blue, and you're just. That's why she's called Carol and Z. She just and keeps going on and on and on. Four hours. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm on, I'm on page six of the doc now. I'm gonna read a post from Garrett, which I think might be the beginning of a thread. I don't know. Uh, hi, I'm Garrett. I'm an administrator. Ooh. Greetings. From the messages I have received when channeling, I have come to believe that during con during conception, the initial contact of the soul is made, and like a spider's web its nest, it takes time for a soul to bond with the body, and it takes the entire pregnancy to complete this process of connecting with the body. Love and light, Garrett. And uh, Bunny Bread, you want to be German Spirit 35 and uh, give me an insane response to this? <laughs> insane, huh? Okay, yeah, yeah. well, I'll try. Vidans, nope. <laughs> dot, 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 many the dots. You would be different. No memory of life before you come in. Dots and dots and dots. However, it had been known that there are some who are Vulcans that have the memories, memories of the past lives. And that, that didn't add up per se, but Never does one know the real truth until it is experienced, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The walk-ins, now we have we space between the walk and the ins, would try to copy your personality, but usually fails miserably at it. That's all the dots. There are hey. some signs. What? Hey, German spirit, thank you for leaving all these M&Ms in the middle of your post so I can <laughs> have welcome. to keep going. You're welcome. <laughs> Willkommen. There are some signs, not really easy to see, but regression is one surefire way to find out. M's and M's and M's. However, I refuse, I refuse to be regressed into the teen years, which is when I try desperately to take my life. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna halt you for a second because it looks like Frank what? West. It looks like Frank West may be at the uh, the end of the game. Oh, Frank West is playing a video game. Oh, yeah. that's now. Yeah. Oh my okay. God. Hey, hey, Frank West. Hello. Are you at the end? <laughs> Maybe. You seem to be on fire. Level. I don't know if it's like going to take me to the boss or Is not. that you on fire? Do you... No, that's... that's Remember what... how I said like a million years ago that I saw a hallucination and said it was a hallucination? <laughs> that's the that's the one. Okay. so it's... It never shows his face, probably because it looks really shitty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Can you guys hear it right now? No. 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 Uh, if you could patch in the sound, you'd hear... Um, Every speech in this game um, oh. sound is like text to speech, but fake. Like it's a it's a string of like a hundred words, on, like think, ninety of which are not real words. I think I can. I think I can do that. Uh, what does that do? Why did her end go quiet? No, I, mm -hmm. no, that didn't give you yeah. the sound. Sorry. What? You're real quiet, boots. What really? To me. What? No. Well, now you're okay. Okay. Now you're okay. Whatever. Um, no, I did not successfully make the sound happen. Ah, fair Aww. enough. Just know that it's real crim ram poster for Ned. <laughs> and like it's it's text to speech, but it's not what they're saying. <laughs> that's great. It's, it's text to speech, but it's a completely random script. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Well, since you're not at the well, end, I'm, I'm I'm sending you away. Goodbye. All right. Bye. Bye, Frank. Wrong button. German <laughs> spirits at the part of the post. Oh, that was that was really bad. <laughs> uh, all right, it was bound to happen. So there I was, <laughs> and I have vague memories of the past, but I have them, so I know I didn't walk out, not for good. 
Je suis stepped out, kind of like coma M&M's. We step out for a while and more M&M's. Now, here is a theory with many, many more M&M's. They are now Reese's Pieces. I'm sorry, Stog. A friend oh. of mine was in a car accident. George's lady, <laughs> and she was in a coma for like zwei, no, wait, uh, I forgot my German numbers. It was like six weeks. When she came out, there is no brain damage. Yet, she cannot remember anything past the car accident for some reason. She cannot to this day remember anyone she once knew, including me. And she had no memory array left at all. <laughs> Reese's and pieces. But it's so very wise beyond her years. Now, if I could spend a little time with her on my level, I could definitely find out, but she really has no interest in this stuff at all. And she sees the deceased fiancé that she killed in the car accident. Reese's the pieces. So, I think she's walking, but no proof. The knowledge. Well, geez, you are too kind, but really. <laughs> I don't know where I get it from. As I said, I could be a walking, as I know things. I just know things from just Jesuit knowing, yet I have a large library full of books that I have consumed over the last six years. How is it possible that I can read? Ooh. <laughs> and I have done a lot of studying on the AT thing, yeah? But most of the stuff I know comes from Jesuit knowing. There is a disc in my head that opens up, if you will, when I post. And it has info in there that just blows my mind. Just with as much law, law, law. I hope this has helped somewhat. Thoughts. With love, within the light, and with the spirit. This is German spirit. Zwei Cinco. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> every, every German number is two. Uh, I completely forgot all German. I'm really concerned for these people. Yeah. Oh, you are, huh? I'm, re I'm really upset that they're not getting help. Yeah. They're getting help. They're talking to each they're other. Getting help this is just other. fine. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to be fine. Whenever the cult yourself? mass extinction event happens, like they decide that there's a big plague coming they're gonna kill themselves real good it's fine yeah whatever whatever helps you sleep at night yeah I'm, i don't yeah i'm uh i'm trying to search forward to some material that isn't about uh dead babies <laughs> just, yeah good idea no, that's okay the fun let's go to rap battle okay then. all right that's <laughs> the fun part okay all right so <laughs> um hey uh hey stog yes uh you're gonna talk about shadows your name is andrew mack i think andrew mack no, wait, shadows was sh okay no, I, I can't. I cannot follow any of this. Anyway, your name is Andrew Mack, and uh, you have something to say. Oh, yeah. It, it's the one that starts with greetings, Wind Dance, right? It is. All right. Hey, my name is Andrew Mack. Greetings, Wind Dance. I recall reading something a number of years ago, the Michael teachings that typically a being does not ensoul in the body until the child is moving down the birth canal. That's very specific. <laughs> yeah. Babies are like assembly lines. Uh, however, I would agree that it can possibly happen any time from conception on, and certainly something of the spirit of the child is around the mother during pregnancy, even if the fetus is not yet ensouled. Blessings in the light, <laughs> Andrew Mack. May there be peace throughout the world. And I am a tray humor. <laughs> Uh, dear Wind Dance, since soul and spirit decide whether we do an earth incarnation or not, I think that soul can enter the matter whenever she wants. But it needs a soul to stay alive, which means that three days theory could come very close. Soul and spirit are states of being, the I am, and therefore, they're, they're far, they're far, <laughs> they're far. <laughs> It's hard, it's hard to pronounce that word without the extra E in the end. Um, do not necessarily need a body. That's just what popped into my mind. Trauma, spelled differently than before. Uh, life loves you so much that it vibrates in every frequency you want. 
Ooh. Fuck. Uh, and we're back to wind I dance. I hate it. <laughs> we're back to wind dance here. I forget who was wind dance. Was somebody wind dance? Uh, maybe me. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. I, maybe not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, was this? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> hey, all oh, man. All right. I'm beginning to believe that the soul intends to enter the body before conception. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why else would here be a host waiting for the soul's arrival? Would it be that there is uh, dibs on that body that they call a shotgun? Is that why the body comes into creation to begin with? Love when. Okay, and then uh, uh, Celestial Light 35, intern. <clears throat> hey, One Dance. Sorry it took so long to get back to you. I just started up again at the New Age bookstore again that I worked at forever here in Houston. And, well, long days and work at nights, too. But here, here I am again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Jeez. all very important details. <laughs> yeah, I'm thank a, you. I'm, I'm a sea time walk-in, meaning Ooh. that three separate souls have lived in this human body. Oh, yeah. That's a, yeah. a soul superstar. <laughs> I wrote about this a bit on another forum here when I copied and put it in notes on my MSN community's page called Walk-In Wanderers and Starseeds and about the galactic command and Esther and the coming <laughs> and goings of all that anyway. Yeah, yeah. I have the web address here. If you want to read it on the site, it is under walk-in stuff. Mm -hmm. a, yeah. In a flash, a walk-in occurs when the original soul, for whatever reason, can no longer function in the physical body. An advanced soul, usually a star seed, will visit and observe the human for a period of weeks or months before slowly moving in. There isn't a severing of the cord that some question just is sort of slipping in then out. This is all prearranged by the original soul and the would-be walk-in soul before the physical body is born. In Ugh. my case, me in now, I am Ple yeah. Pleiadian <laughs> and Sarian and formerly of the Ashtar Command. I was also the original guardian of the physical me at birth and growing up. I just remember a very loving and big lady who was my quote angel. I am the third walk-in, the first two are an old soul from the earth, the second was Ecturian and me. I came into the complication. Are you guys all following this? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm oh, just God. hearing the video sound at this point. <laughs> I'm this old chestnut. Oh, no. I'm is my mic are... still coming out? No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. You're, you're good. Feel free to just skip throughout this because it's yeah. uh, there's an awful okay. lot of nonsense okay. happening here. Light I, just remember, uh, I came into complications, blah, 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 depression, blah, 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 suicide, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, ask for a soul to come in and take her place, blah, blah, blah. Six weeks to adjust. Blah, 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 physical body, third, fourth dimension, emotions, sucky integration period, awful misspelled. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm really uh, preferring this Clip Notes version because yeah, this is fine. I, I pretend these are this episode like this. <laughs> I pretend these are the, the fifth uh, dimension. Oh, sorry. No, uh, you, you interrupted me. It must have been important. Oh, uh, I'm pretending these are just the liner notes of some Kiss album I'm reading while I'm waiting for waiting for everyone to finish sh shopping in the thrift store so I can finally go home and play video games. This is what this this is emotionally what this whole entire post is like to me. This is this seems a little sexy. I don't know what you guys think. I was actually <laughs> taking a shower when the full bringing of myself happened. I just called myself hi yourself and said enough done get in here this is more than enough time to work on coming in then whoosh i was in i, I don't know what the fuck is happening yeah. no yep or you know. Know. it's me margaret just paraphrase nobody does all right let's uh let's just move on uh i've scrolled all the way down to page 19 of the document uh wow. and i'm gonna read a selection from uh diana speaks uh from i believe it's from sessions with spirit.info 
And uh, I, I, it looks like I am the spirit of Lady uh, Di. <laughs> Sounds about right. Most people are. Nice to meet you. This is what Lady Diana said on May 3rd, 2009. A lot. Hello, everyone. I have it on very good authority that my return is something being deliberately blocked from happening. Now, there could, of course, be only two main reasons why this would be so. It is either disbelieved or believed as being reality. The first reason, therefore, an entirely negative one, and in turn, an example of a man, of man's being so quick to rush judgment in things, so doing so prematurely. The SS Titanic, a clear example of his, his ignorance displayed by him and with devastating consequences. The famous passenger liner judged by him to be unsinkable, sinking with the loss of life, of course, on her maiden voyage. Voyage. Now, now. Hold- Hold on just a second, Lady mm-hmm. Diana. I think you of all people would know that it was the HMS Titanic, <laughs> since it was a British registered ship. And you were there, were you not? <laughs> have you or have you not died four or five times now? So now we know uh, Princess Diana did not know that it was called the HMS Titanic. No, well, I'm talking about. Ruined. Thank I'm you talking about a completely different ship. It was much smaller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The Everybody, SS Titanic was yeah. like a tugboat. It was ironic. Oh, it was the RMS Titanic. Yeah. Oh. It, natu- it naturally easy to immediately dismiss my returning as a hoax, some kind of sick joke, or even the ideology of a madman, and particularly, of course, when I have returned fused perfectly with the masculine energy of Andrew Russell Davis. Whew. The judgment <laughs> being one cast without examination or exploration, uh... And this is what leads me to, to know that this is something more than probably believed in, or the very least serious consideration being given to the idea that it might be the reality igniting fear, perhaps, and this result being the reason for the blockage. You're following You're me, right? To disagree? What? No. no. Princess uh, Diana, uh, why do you sound like a crazy person on a new age internet forum? Yeah, why do you sound Canadian? Why do you too? have the exact same writing style as crazy people on a new age? Because I'm being blocked by Andrew Russell Davies. Oh. I am nodding and waiting for you to go away. <laughs> I will not. I draw attention once again to the fact that in the year 2000, Andrew wrote to William and told him about the fact that I channeled through him and I myself in that letter included one to my eldest son in regarding that and comparing it with Andrew, the difference would be would have been obvious to him. Rose oh and God. others who have heard me speak through him have all remarked how different each of our energies are, and they would be, of course, naturally, unless he was faking it, in which case only his personal energy would be apparent. God, oh. this goes on for a very long time. Yes. All right, uh, skipping down. Cowardice was now something that could never be attached to me, which is why, returning to the point of my message to you all, Andrew hasn't been allowed to adopt this trait either. He channels me, so needs, therefore, as to be as up f- front and out there as I was. There's so many. <laughs> it's like a Velvet Underground lyrics. Yeah, this is how Princess Diana writes. You this got is, the to- you got the tone exactly right. Yeah, this underground was really just a cover band for her. This post yeah. was made entirely with predictive text on a phone. <laughs> 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 Someone feigning all of this would now would by now have given up the ghost, so to speak, but he hasn't. To the contrary, in fact, he personally is all over the web proclaiming the fact that before people p- rush to casting premature judgments, not a penny earned by him for doing so except from a film company who flew him to London. His personal expenses paid to assist them in a project which is yet to be publicized and is guaranteed to shock and surprise when it does so. Uh, my heart was at work, and is it this, this very reason I make my return that it has been something granted, dare I say blessed, and ordained for me to do so? Why, therefore, against all the odds, will it happen at the appropriate time? I, though, need your personal help and assistance now in making this happen, so I am appealing to you now to assist me, if you will, as one person can easily be dismayed by the crowd far less easy to be ignored. If people listening to this podcast, hearing me speak the chapters of my book, reading my channeled messages, sense it to me please contact the media and tell them so what the fuck uh, what the fuck are you talking about i'm it really don't make him repeat it next, isn't it <laughs> Uh, a small action like this could have tremendous bearing on everything and it's in a very positive way. And so for this reason alone, something surely begging great consideration and doing and certainly has all the pomp and circumstance of a lady at Diana. This must really be her. Uh, the volume of correspondence in the same vein. I'm done. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> you were just getting to the stupid part. <laughs> oh, you're almost to the end. Okay. <laughs> so, so you know the rest of this document is more Diana. <laughs> 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 oh my this is a lot of diana uh, just, uh so please if you want to help me and in, in albeit some small way then give consideration to telling the world via the media she didn't go quietly diana's back thank you for listening to me with love diana oh that was diana speak okay all right yeah yeah that was diana um yeah. that whole time huh <laughs> Okay, uh, don't know what to do at this point. We hear more from Diana, that's what. Yeah, okay, okay. I want to I wanna say Diana things. Okay, we Bunny Bread. Good Diana ass content. Uh, okay, <clears throat> Bunny Bread. Just like chat, like, like, you know, like what, what kind of Diana are you, Boots, or something? You know, like, it's like, like a boy band. <laughs> which, which Diana are you? Oh, yeah, which color? I'm like. I'm, I'm definitely the library Diana, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm the, the fine Diana. Diana. Mine's Diana. Yeah. I'm the banging forty Diane. Forty. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, 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 everyone. <laughs> oh, good. Tonight, July second, in the year of our Lord, on the TV channel BBC Two. Andrew is watching a factual documentary, 771 Day in London, that is extremely harrowing viewing, both for him and myself, naturally. For those of you willing to allow yourselves to become broader-minded about this being real, he sits here in a mix of emotions. On the one hand, deep sadness as the stories being told are devastatingly poignant and sad, but also extremely angry at the fact that these people might not have died or have been injured, including losing limbs, had a broader-minded attitude. They lost their broader-minded attitude, being one expressed by the person spoke to warning of the bombs in London four days prior to them happening. Hmm. This incident happening was one spoken of by me in blah, 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 bullshit, blah, 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 bullshit, blah, 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 British bullshit. Thank you all. Hugs and kisses, Diana. <laughs> My name is Diana, and the psychic who I'm speaking through was right about predicting the 2005 London bombings. Good. <laughs> That's what I said, is it not? Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna read this post by Horace. Yeah, do that. Okay, I'm H colon O colon R colon A colon C colon E. <laughs> this is a world of duality. Grew three three in love. For every up, there is a down, and for every left, there is a right. Especially if you're boxing, there are also true things and false things. There is no substance to false things. They do not exist in truth. Be at peace and align yourself to truth. Truth is not at war with itself and only false things could conflict with truth, but false things do not exist. And so there is no basis for fear, not in truth. Nope. According to your story, your friend had first mentioned the idea of visiting you astrally as a means to protect you. Since then, it seems that you've merely imagined some false motivations for him. Apparently, he is deeply involved with healing himself with the aid of several respected mentors. How would attacking you in any way help him in his healing quest? And why should those other people, for, for the experience points, duh, and why should those other people give him aid? Surely they would sense his dark intentions if there was any reality to that idea. Calm your mind and be at peace. Find some time to commune with nature. Take a hike in the woods, or just sit under a tree. All is well. Yeah. All right. I, 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 I've, I've got the, I've got the, the best way to wrap up this hour. Uh -huh. okay. What's that? As, uh, as the intern's going to read that uh, free balling poem that we skipped at the end. <laughs> we didn't have time for the end of last hour. <laughs> oh, please do. Oh, with pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Sasha Fresh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sasha Fresh. I'm a newcomer, and I've been so inspired by this message board that I've been moved to poetry. So here it is, ladies and gents. This is straight from the heart, okay? Mm -hmm. Titties are a metaphor for titled waves and cream. 
I've never seen a woman's breasts that didn't make me scream. That's not <laughs> to say I'm not a real man, because I am. But one long look at any tit, and I flash back to Nam. Oh. Now, one time... <laughs> Why do you keep visiting this topless bar then? This is really dumb. <laughs> I too get PTSD flashbacks whenever I see breasts. I wonder how old he is. Now, one time in Japan, I saw a sight that made me shudder. A one night stand turned ugly when I saw my partner's udder. You know oh, that God. small eraser that is perched atop a pencil? Do you? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, we all do that. No, okay. no, well, I haven't seen that before. Well, it looked just like that, but twice as long as my utensil. Ooh, nice rhyme. <laughs> if I could say a prayer just now, I think that I'd feel better. Dear God, don't let the t-shirts in this room get any wetter. <laughs> I know that I'm a mammal, but are memories necessary? I get my milk at grocery stores and at the local dairy. Amen. <laughs> Love you oh, all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's really. All right. Uh, what do you He's think we learned this good. hour? <laughs> I learned uh, jack fucking shit. I would like to go to Stog's answer, please. He should be due. Yeah. I, I learned that there's an unspoken rule when you're talking about channeling spirits. You, I learned that, you yeah. ask a question or answer a question, it takes you two lines, and then you spend the next 800 to 1,000 words talking about yourself. Mm -hmm. This is pretty much that multiple systems uh, thing, but with the excuse that some folks died before, right? Like from way back? Uh, yeah, you know, I, th I guess that's what the whole walk-ins thing was. Yeah, yeah. Like you're, like you're a hair salon. <laughs> but not like a super upscale one. People can just kind of show up. No, yeah, you're super cuts. Super cuts best. for sure. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. Well, so that was a waste of fucking time. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it's, we got uh, another waste of uh, 13 hours left of this. So yay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good luck, right. everybody. Thanks for having me. Oh, and thanks. thank you for scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> you're oh, welcome. you're welcome. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. It's yeah, thanks delight. for introducing me to a new hell. Yeah, well, that's yeah. Welcome <laughs> to our hell's, lives. New hell's as good as old hell. Don't let yeah. the haters get you down. All right, old yeah, hell's yeah. passe. Okay, yeah. uh, we're gonna be back uh, in about ten minutes with uh, 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 Lemon's gonna be re rejoining us. J.W. Freeman's gonna be joining us. Lou's gonna be joining us, uh, and Bunny Bread's gonna be hosting the rap hour. So yeah Hell yeah. Uh, this is nice. gonna be really. This is really gonna be something. So stay tuned. Intern. Bye. Catch you soon. <laughs>